This next one is uh, my, my friend uh, Diana. She calls this the mom get the camera deck. Really? Uh, okay. Because that's what she imagines her opponent is screaming as soon as Ash Blossom doesn't come down. <laughs> this deck, like, it plays one card that loses to every hand trap, and if your opponent doesn't open any hand traps, mom, get the camera, it's finally happening. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I know this deck, so I've played against quite a few. Raid Raptors! Oh, I love Raid Raptors. Like, I heard rumors that they'd be an XE summon event only, and I'm like, oh, I'd, pro I'd want to play Raid Raptors, and like, you know that the answer is going to be like, yeah, maybe you should be playing like Phantom Knights or the Utopia. Some I'm thinking, honestly, there. Eldlick, because the deck doesn't or change, but then it still can make the Gust of Max. Yeah, and you can play, you can just play Luralisk, right? No, because you don't get access to Link Monsters. Yeah, you can just play, <coughs> or I can just play Burn. Like, in all of those, all of those alternate formats, it's like, hey, you're only like oh, Secrets. Dude, like burn. dude, not only can you play the Burn deck, ex uh, Exynos Monsters can't use tokens. You can give them the Adrama Trio and they can do nothing about it. Oh, so yeah, just Burn deck is just excellent there. Yeah, all the Synchros, oh. all the Links, none of them exist anymore, so those Adrama tokens are just murder. <laughs> I love Raid Raptors. Like, I watched all of Yu Gi Oh! Arc. Five, oh, and the duels with the Raid Raptors were by far the best in the entire series. Like, the they, the one of the best duels in the entire series, in my opinion, was um, oh, that Fusion Kid and I can't remember the guy playing Raid Raptors. Oh God, can you 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 didn't watch the anime, did you at all? Uh, I watched enough of it to know that if I watched any more, it would hurt me. Oh, okay. So that's just me handing over my chat card by admitting it, but. The Raid Raptors versus the uh, Fusion uh, Duelist. That was like probably the best duel of the entire thing. It could have just ended at that point. Like it was like so well done. Sora versus Shun. Thank you, Black Belt Sam. Uh, <laughs> that was like my favorite duel in the entire uh, Arc 5 series. Yeah, season one. So opponent just basically full combos for our ultimateness, right? I think is where they end up. Uh... I, I, I call it Super Dolka. It's called like Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon or something like that. It, it's just, it's Evil's Arc Dolka, but with like all the steroids in Europe. So. Yes. <coughs> Ta da! Super Dolka. Yeah, it can't be destroyed by card effects, which is not so great for me. And you can detach from material from this card. It gains attack equal to the attack of all other monsters on the field, which is not so great for me. And then, which is this... what Rebellion did in the anime, the original Rebellion. It's just like, oh yeah, okay, if, let's just make one. If this card has a Dark Exes monster as a material, you negate the effects of all other monsters on the field, which is not so great for me. And then, after this effect resolves, you cannot declare attacks with other monsters for the rest of this turn. And then you can only use its effect once per turn. So this thing is just a problem. And it's, you know, bigger than every card in my deck on top of that. And then he has this annoying thing that detaches the material to target it and exudes in the graveyard and summon it. And uh, then if it's used for other things, who cares? And this guy, which is just doing nothing. And this guy, which is just doing nothing because they have no materials. And this thing, which says, uh, when it's linked, somebody did stuff. If your Raid Raptor exudes the monster's effect is activated, set a rank up spell from your deck. And if it's a quick play, it can be activated this turn. This is one of those that cards card from Link Vrain's so pack where they just didn't care and they just made cards to make decks work to get the player base back. So, oh, for the uh, Link Vrain's pack. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I do like that he's got like blue and red and I would hope the other ears like a green or yellow would probably look really this cool. This card is one of the most ridiculous cards ever, I think. I, I like just getting the, the rank up magic, uh, the rank up spells were so powerful. But they were kind of unreliable, and that was kind of the drawback for them. And this card just kind of, like, sidestepped that. He didn't send Arsenal to the graveyard for Ultimate Falcon, because uh, it says, um, if this card is sent to the graveyard while it has a Raid Raptor monster as a material, it summons Ultimate Falcon, and it doesn't have any materials. I, I did think about that. As soon as this thing came down, and I was like, oh, this thing makes Ultimate Falcon, I am, like, turbo-boned. He didn't. He elected to summon three other monsters instead by detaching its one material to summon the Wing Beast monster from his deck and go into Super Dolka. Because otherwise he loses to a single Kaiju. And I, I agree with his decision because he does not know what deck I'm playing. He could have. He could have looked at my zero extra deck and went, oh cool, Ultimate Falcon for game. But he didn't. Um, 
So here's me staring down this board and going, oh dear, dimensional fissure. The one thing it doesn't work on is XYZ materials. And then he also has Ash Blossom and it's time to just go home very sad. But uh, I do have Dynamite, which is a monster and a Trap Pop to get rid of one problem, I suppose. I'm not allowed to target like everything else. Beat up the stupid thing and pray. <laughs> like, here's, here's... I mean, that's that's a strong... I don't think that's a good strategy where you're just like, yeah, what's my hope? Praying. It does work out, though. It does work out sometimes just praying, but... Not I don't, I don't want to bring him back his XYZs, so I shotgunned the skill drain even though it cost me my thing. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, to answer your question, Tinker, uh, when the materials are sent to the graveyard, they are not considered monsters. Yeah, uh, Xyz materials are no longer considered monster cards. They're considered Xyz material cards, similar to like how tokens are considered tokens. Uh, yeah, so it skirts the game mechanics, which is why Dimensional Fisher doesn't work. However, Macrocosmos, because it's just any card sent to the graveyard, gets Correct. Uh, minus instead. So he still has Super Dolka, but now he has Rusty Bardiche. Uh, and then he, he just plops this down, and I'm like, I, I have Deep Fissure, man. Why, why would you summon that? And then, like, Bardiche is negated by Skill Drain. Like, this is just a really... This is borderline suicidal. But, anyway. I, I assume he, like, did math and needed the 800 or something, but... We live, because yeah. Apocalypse is a good Yu-Gi-Oh card. It, it, it cost me my only monster. He's over here now. Again, because of my own Deep Fissure, but... You know... Deck build well and ye shall be rewarded. Play Pot of Grief, it's a good card. Yeah, sometimes it just works out, right? Uh, I love Raid Raptors, to be honest. Uh, it's it's a theme that's quite close to my heart. I thought it, I thought it was really cool. And if I was gonna if I was gonna do a casual a casual deck climb, I would love to try and do it with Raid Raptors. I'm just not sure. Here's me not if playing I could do it. <laughs> like I just don't think I could do it. Like I tried to play Galaxy a little bit fun in Plat One, and I just like. It was just a miserable experience because you can't play through two negates. Um, it was like, okay, in theory I can do this against this deck, this against this deck, but just the reality was like, you're just not playing Yu-Gi-Oh at all. Your opponent's just going to interrupt you at that level because they're playing the deck designed to do that. You're just going to get interrupted twice and you're going to pick up the cards and go home. And Raid Raptors, unfortunately, feels like it's in that category. At this point, like I've, even though he got to go first and do everything he wanted, I'm completely in control now. Yeah, I mean, whenever that sort of happens, you have to go back and see, check your replays and see where did you did you make a serious misplay, or you have to really question the your deck. You have to just question at its core: does this deck actually work? 